clap your hands and sing along with me How do you do, everybody, how do you do? How do you do, everybody, how do you do? Oh, you come to gym for fun and we'll get you... Hi everyone, my name's Teacher Jade and this is the Little Gym at Home. Today's activities are going to be all about motor planning. This is how our little people get from A to B. First they have to see where they want to go, then they need to think about how they're going to get there before they start moving. So we're going to do lots of activities today to work on that. First of all, we're going to start with a warm-up which takes your baby through all sorts of different planes of movement and there might be a bit of a workout in it for you grown-ups as well. Get ready! Okay, so our first little activity here we call a flagpole at the little gym. What you're going to do is you're going to get your elbows into your chest and have your baby's feet pushing into your tummy just like this. If we're getting a little bit bigger, we can always put our legs round and go into a straddle as well. We're getting just as big a workout. Grown-ups, you're working on your triceps. The babies are working on their back and neck muscles so they can stabilise those and have a little look around. So, take your baby for a little walk around your living room. That's it, you see, they're looking all around them. They're seeing from a different point of view because they are much higher than they normally would be. Well done. The second thing we're gonna do is get these babies jumping. For the babies, what they are doing is learning to land on their feet every time. Us grown-ups, we're gonna get a bit of a leg workout and do some squats, okay, ready? So every time, we're gonna land back on our feet. And jump, and feet. Jump, and feet. Some of our babies are gonna absolutely love this. Our thrill seekers out there, you can go as high as they want to. If your little one is a little bit more nervous, then of course, you can go for slightly smaller jumps. That's it, on our feet every time. That's it, well done. A couple more, get those legs working. That's it, well done everybody. So now we're going to get down on the floor and work out our arms a little bit more, just like this. Here we go. So grown-ups, this is you working on your biceps. Your little ones are working on their depth perception because they can see how close and how far away you are. They might be grabbing, they might want to reach out for your face. <laughs> they also love all of this eye contact and bonding. Go for as long as you can. That's it, well done. Okay, let's switch it up and, and do a, a couple of rocking and, rocking and rolling moves. Grown-ups, we're working on our core muscles and the babies are getting to go through all different planes of motion as they're rocking all the fluid in their inner ear is moving around as they work out whether they're moving, the world around them is moving, or whether you are. Let's go! Well done, let's get back up on our feet. This one is called a baby bicep curl. So, here we go. We're going to hold our babies just like this, and we're going to bring them in up to our chest for a kiss or a cuddle like this. One. There you go. Grown-ups, you're working on your biceps. And babies, they're getting to look. They're going in a sideways movement pattern. Here you go. On the side, up and down. Again, do as many as you can. See how strong you're feeling today. Well done everybody, we are feeling nice and warm here. Let's get going with a few party tricks for you guys. Okay team, all of these activities are what I call party tricks at the little gym. These are the sort of things you can practice at home and then take a little video and send over to grandma to cheer her up today. So, the first one, you're gonna put your baby on your knees, just like this, and you're gonna lay on your back. You can hold onto the upper arms or the hands, and first of all, you just want to take them for a little ride like this. This activity is really fun for your baby. They get a nice bit of adrenaline rush from this, but also they are learning to stabilize their eyes, stabilize their retinas as their body is moving. 
If we're quite happy with this one, then we can change our grip onto the shoulders and we can go up into a little handstand and down again, just like this. Make sure you're holding on at the shoulders. There you go, so they are nice and safe going upside down. Lovely. Our next skill is the, the real big one. It's called a back whoop de doo Very silly name, I know. What you do, you're gonna put your baby facing away from you on your legs and go onto your back. The grip is very important, hands over the top, thumbs on top, a bit like a seatbelt in a car, and you're gonna go lift your legs up and <gasps> over the top like this. Some of you might want to leave your baby there, that might be enough for today, but if we're feeling brave and strong, then we can go over the top and up again. Here we go, let me show you, hands over the top, thumbs up like a seatbelt, one, two, three, ta-da! And all the way back again. Babies love it, it's taking them through a whole upside down plane of movement. Again, really stimulating all the fluid in the inner ear that's gonna help with our balance later on. And grown-ups, I can promise it's a bit of a core workout for you guys as well. One more, if you're feeling really snazzy today, you can link some skills together. So we can go over the top, back whoop de doo forwards again, up and straight into da -da -da, a forwards roll. Get practicing, give it a go and see if you can get some cool videos for those relatives. Okay, so I'm gonna show you how to set up a really great motor planning exercise for your little ones. It's great for this because they want to get from one side to the other, but there's obstacles in the way. Make sure your little ones have their socks off for this activity so they can really feel the different materials. Here I've got a, a slightly firmer sofa cushion and then a really squishy pillow. They'll feel it harder to balance on here. And then a hard step, so that'll feel different for them again. Even as a grown-up, as I walk across here, I can feel that it's a bit tricky. So it will be a really interesting one for them. Let me show you how to spot this with your little ones. If your little one is crawling, then you can probably let them get on with this exactly by themselves. If they choose to go around one of the activities, because it's maybe a little bit hard, that's all right. Acknowledge it and encourage them to try it again next time. If we're just learning to walk, we're probably going to have to support under the arms or at the elbows just to help them a little bit if they're wobbly. If you have got um, quite a, a sturdy walker, then they might just want to hold one of your hands just to have a little bit of um, extra motivation there. That is absolutely fine. Or you might even just need to help them get over one. Your walkers might decide to go on their hands and knees to get over one of the things. That is absolutely fine. Here we go. Just like that. You could even put a favourite toy, favourite book, some bells at the end or something to really encourage them to get all the way to the end. While I have this step here, I'm just going to show you another couple of activities that you can try. So, this is great for your little ones learning how much they need to lift their leg to take a step. This seems so simple for us grown-ups, but it's a really big thing. It's all about motor planning, like I mentioned earlier. So we can help them just by spotting just under here, take that big step up. And once they're in there, we can start looking at this kind of jumping or falling off of things. So if you're sitting just like this, they can reach out their arms to you, they can fall into you, and you can even go into a bit of a rock and, and link some skills together. I'll show you again. So you're just spotting here, helping them work out, letting them have a go at it. We've got the time to let them work it out themselves. Stepping up, falling, and a big rock like that. At the little gym, we often use one of our really lovely colourful parachutes for this age group. I'm assuming most of you don't have a parachute at home, but you will have a nice colourful beach towel. So I'm going to show you how to turn this into a parachute. What you want to do is tuck one end under something, chair, sofa, whatever you've got, and then look, it's nice and sturdy and you can use it just like this. So, baby sits in your lap, just like I have here. And then some of them might want to hold on at this point and give it a shake themselves. Some of them might just watch it go up and down. Even this is really great. They feel the breeze on their face. It's nice and slow, so they get to watch the colours go up and down. Let's sing a song that we sing at the Little Gym quite often with our parachutes. It's our Wheels on the Bus song. I'm sure you know it and I'm sure you can sing along with me. Ready? The wheels on the bus go round and round, round and round. Round and round the wheels on the bus go round and round all day long. 
The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. Swish, swish, swish. The wipers on the bus go swish, swish, swish. All day long. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. Beep, beep, beep. The horn on the bus goes beep, beep, beep. All day long. One more. The children on the bus go up and down, up and down, up and down. The children on the bus jump up and down all day long. Now, I assume most of you don't have a balance beam at home, but look, beach towels can do fabulous things if you think about it for a little bit. So we have made a beam out of our beach towel. So we're going to show you some activities you can practice at home on your beach towels so that when we come back into the gym, we can get up on the beam and try it. The first one is for our sort of our babies that are new to standing, new to walking. It's just standing up on a smaller surface. You start holding them quite high or under their armpits, down, um, on, around their chest. And then the idea is you want to hold lower around their tummy. Let them wobble around, let them try that out. If they're doing well, you can hold lower at the hips. The aim of the game is to hold as low as you can with them still being safe and secure. They're going to wobble around. They're still working out their balance. It's a great core workout. Some of you might even get down to holding just your little one's thighs and let them have a balance. For our, our, our slightly bigger little ones that are starting to walk around a bit, we can then hold them like a rugby ball and practice our step and slides. So if you use one foot, the other one generally tends to follow. Do the same amount of steps one way as you do the other, so they are make sure they're practicing both sides of their feet. The next stage for this is walking forwards on the beam. When babies first start to walk, they're quite wide stance, there's a bit of a waddle. So the beam is really great at starting to make them put one foot in front of the other in a straight line and walking um, more like you know we do as grown-ups. Give that a couple of goes. If you want to make it skinnier, you could always lay out like a skipping rope to make it even trickier for them to keep their feet on. There you go, that is all of the kind of lower body workout. Now we're going to go to our upper body and we can do great things with our good old fashioned wheelbarrows on the beam. So holding one hand under the hips, one hand under the chest, you can go down onto the beam and up again back to feet. Onto the beam, back up onto our feet. I'll show you from the side. Hands and back onto our feet. Hands back onto our feet. Now our bear really wants to put his head on the floor and some of your, your kids at home might do that as well, but it's okay. Hand under the chest can keep encouraging them to keep upright. That might be enough for some of us, but there is another level if we want to try it. Just like our legs start out walking quite wide, wheelbarrow walking starts off very wide like this. So the first time you try it, it might be very, very wide wheelbarrow walking, but the beam helps us to put our hands in front of each other, use these muscles in our chest to bring them closer together. So here we go, on the beam, we're going to see if we can do some wheelbarrow walking that way. They might need a rest in the middle and then going that way again. There you go, who knew you could do so much gymnastics with a beach towel? Before we say goodbye, I just want to share with you a few tips of how you can create a lovely sensory space for your baby at home. So, get a wash basket, any sort of bucket you've got here that's nice and clean. Baby goes in and then you can use different things. So, here I've got lots of colourful scarves. You could use towels, tea towels, beach towels, whatever you like. Baby is inside and gets to really feel that soft texture all over their body. Now, you can try this with loads of different things in your wash basket. So here I have loads of different um, colours and textures of balls. These are a bit of a harder, so they'll feel a bit of a harder feeling all over the body. Again, put baby inside and let them have a play. So here I have lots of bells that we use at the little gym, but you could add in anything that makes a noise. Maybe you've got some rattles, maybe you've got some wooden spoons that they can um, hit together. Let's see what we can have next. Oh. This time it's full of balloons. This one's great because when they touch them, they're really going to move around so they can have that kind of oh, experience of it moving around. Remember, put baby in just like this and let them have some fun.
This is a fun activity you can try if you've got a ball at home, like a kind of football, basketball sized ball. I have built a football goal here, but you can make one for yourself. You could put like a blanket over a couple of chairs, whatever you like. Or if you've got another grown up in the house, you can also just use another grown up. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna hold our babies underneath their arms and we're gonna say one, two, three, woo! And we can give them a little score like that. If your little one is standing up and wants to try it by themselves, you might want to just hold them under the armpits like this, just to help them so they can stand on one leg, which is really tricky, and give it a big kick like that. <laughs> Yay! Let's sing one last song all together with our bubbles today. Ready? Incy wincy spider climbed up the water spout. Down came the rain and washed the spider out. Out came the sunshine and dried up all the rain. And itsy wincy spider climbed up the spout again. Well done everybody. Hopefully you now have loads of ideas to try out at home to work on your motor planning and lots of sensory fun. My name's Teacher Jade and this was The Little Gym at Home. Bye. It's time to say goodbye.